Tilo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live, but by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Um, don't forget, everything that you need to know is down in the description of this video. Uh, and uh, this is Catherine, Princess of Wales, undergoing cancer treatment. That's a tough one. Let's get into it, though. Copyright, copyright disclaimer, disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. I had a cousin that had cancer, brain cancer. I think it was brain cancer. It might have been colon cancer. No, it was colon cancer. Um, she, um, I pretty much, she was on hospice. And we used to go visit her on it like, like daily. And I just watched her deteriorate from cancer. And it was one of the saddest things. Because I remember when I was younger, she was just full of life being there. And when this happened, boom, it's just... It happened hard. It, it take it, it go it moves quick. I don't know what form of cancer she got, but you know, I hope for a speedy recovery and uh, F cancer. You know, talk to me though. At six, the Princess of Wales has just announced that she is undergoing treatment for cancer. Here now is a very personal message from her, which has just been released, in which she explains what has been happening in recent weeks. I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you personally for all the wonderful messages of support and for your understanding whilst I've been recovering from surgery. It has been an incredibly tough couple of months. Also, oh, she already took the surgery and she's recovering and she's going through treatments now? For our entire family. But I've had a fantastic medical team who have taken great care of me, for which I'm so grateful. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. Uh. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This, of course, came as a huge shock, and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure kids, right? Assure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body, and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too, as is the love, support, and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, Appreciate space, and privacy while I complete my treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I'm able. But for now, I must focus on making a full recovery. At this time, I'm also thinking of all those whose lives have been affected by cancer. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You are not alone. The Princess of Wales with a very personal message. That it's, a, it's a nice message, it's well thought out covered all bases except what type of cancer it was but i mean in the scheme of it it's not really important you know let us know what's going on she wants her privacy period it was filmed on wednesday in windsor well our royal correspondent daniela ralph is with me now a huge shock to catherine as she says it's going to be a huge shock to millions of other people as well 
Yeah, that's right. Um, a huge shock, as you say, to the Princess of Wales and clearly a very deeply upsetting time for her and her family in recent weeks. And what's very clear from hearing from the team around the Prince and Princess? Well, I wouldn't say in recent weeks, right? Not an upsetting time. She's been going through it behind closed doors. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like she's already went through some type of whatever emotions that she had. She's already went through them. She's already fought that battle. She's just letting us know now. Princess today is that this has been entirely driven by trying to protect the children. That has been the focus of the Prince and Princess of Wales in recent weeks. It is why this news has come out today. Today is when Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis break up from school for the Easter holidays. And it was felt that this was the moment to go public uh, because they are now able to protect them as parents, protect their children from the scrutiny and the spotlight that might have been going on. Oh, so her and, um, her and, what, what, the, what did you just say? Her and William, William is her current husband. They'll be the next in line when the current man is no longer able to do the job because he got his own health issues going on too, right? He got, he got the same thing, right? Had they still been at school, they now have two to three weeks to spend some time privately as a family. And the Prince and Princess of Wales had wanted to make sure they tell the ch children properly, appropriately about this diagnosis and give them time to take that in. Yeah, so that is why too. it is today that we have found out. And the tone of her message, I am well, she says in that video, I hope to make a full recovery. I mean, that is, the, that is very much her tone, isn't it, her message? Yeah, we are told that the princess is feeling very positive and is very hopeful of making a full recovery. I think anybody... This is her recently, right now? She out there digging holes? ...who has just watched that video message, they will see her vulnerability in it and see how difficult things have been with her. Strong. For her. But I also think that it's clearly been a very difficult time in terms of speculation and rumour. And that video is Catherine. I got respect for everything that's going on. But my boy... Prince Williams, please, when you take your seat at the throne, just cut the, the sides off. Just cut that off, man. Cut that off or go to Turkey and get you some implants because you are far too young to be rocking this. You can't. And it's not salutable. You're going to be a young king and you need to exude that. You either go bald or go to Turkey. In her own words, done in her own way, and the hope is that she will now be able to perhaps quell some of that more outlandish rumour and speculation about her condition. A very difficult time as well for the monarchy, isn't it? The monarchy being all about stability. That's right. It is a very unstable time for the monarchy and the British royal family at the moment. Uh, we're not going... That's crazy, too. Yeah, just imagine. The Queen was in... The Queen was head of... You know, she was doing... She was in there for how many years? 70 plus? And then now the current king, he'd been in there, what, two years? Then caught, you know, unfortunately, then been diagnosed with cancer, and we don't know what's going on or the length of however. And then, boom, that's going to be, you know, I don't want to speak into the future like that or speak of unaliving on anybody, but, you know, y'all know what I'm trying to say without saying it. ...to see the Prince, Princess of Wales for some time on any kind of normal schedule of public duty. We're also not seeing the King very much either, as he is undergoing his own cancer treatment. So there are two key significant figures from public life missing and it is very noticeable. But the royal family say that both are doing well, they want to focus on their recovery, having some privacy and that they will be back in business on royal duty as soon as possible. Daniela, thank you. And you've been looking back over the last few weeks and the impact that all of this has been having on the royal family. Let's see your report now. This was the last official footage of the Princess of Wales with the royal family on Christmas Day at Sandringham with her three children who she is now so keen to protect after going public with news of her diagnosis. Back in December, all seemed well as she spoke to the crowd. Yeah, no cap, she got it to protect the children. Man. Thank you so much. That's very sweet of you to come and say hello to us. Yeah, well, have very happy Christmas. But three weeks later, she was admitted to hospital for major abdominal surgery. It was in her post-operative tests that signs of cancer were found. The clamour for information about the princess's condition has been intense. This footage, published earlier this week, filmed by a member of the public, showed her shopping in Windsor with her husband last weekend. 
And this photo, released on Mother's Day, to ease some of the public speculation, did the opposite, with the princess issuing a statement to say she had made some edits to the image. <laughs> with the princess issuing a statement to say she had made some edits to the image. Why would she even issue that statement, though? A turning point appears to have been this Thanksgiving service in Windsor for King Constantine of Greece at the end of February. The rest of the royal family were there, but the Prince of Wales pulled out that morning, very suddenly, due to a personal matter. We now know this was around the time the princess was diagnosed and began her treatment. It has been an incredibly turbulent time for the family. The couple's priority has been to protect their children and ensure they have time to explain what's wrong to Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. They now hope the speculation and rumours will stop as they spend time privately as a family for the Easter holiday. The princess won't be back to a full programme of public duty for some time. We may see her occasionally, but only when her medical team have... <laughs> My boy in there. Proved. For Vibin. now, the Princess of Wales wants time, space and privacy to deal with her diagnosis and recovery. Now, nah, for real, man. Y'all, you know, pray, keep her in our prayers. This is a beautiful woman, beautiful family. Um, and, you know, the, the, it seems like the royal family going through it right now. They need, you know, if y'all rock with them, even if y'all don't, man, we don't wish cancer or any type of unaliving upon anybody, so... You know, just do, just be a great human and do the right things. Daniela Ralph, BBC News. Well, let's talk to our medical editor, Fergus Walsh. Now, as with King Charles, we are being given very little information about what it exactly is. Uh, it ain't none of your business. Before, but from the few details we have, what more can you tell us? Yeah, well, Sophie, we're, we're not being told what type of cancer this is, nor what stage it was caught at. Now, both of those are crucial factors and I'm not going to speculate on either of those, but the tone of the Princess of Wales statement is very positive in terms of recovery. What we have been told is that the cancer was found after she had this successful abdominal surgery, and it was discovered once the post-operative tests had been completed and the results had been reviewed. Now, she is now undergoing a course of what she described as preventative, preventative chemotherapy. That began late. So it's like when you when you get sick or you feel yourself getting sick, you get to take a Robitussin before you even fully sick to try to get it up out of you. It's preventive. I get it. Late last month. Now, chemotherapy is an umbrella term for any drug treatment to kill cancer. Now, it can either be uh, given to mop up any remaining cancer cells that may remain behind once there's been successful surgery to remove the cancer or to ensure that the cancer doesn't return in the future. Now it can be given as an infusion but increasingly it can be given in tab as tablets, daily tablets and the treatment for cancer has transformed it in recent years. Much of uh, daily tab tablet treatment can be taken at home. Um, in terms of the, the future we we'll really be outside, though, with this. That's good. Catherine yeah. is stressing she is well Salute. and getting stronger every day. She's 42 years old. She's only just turned 42. How unusual is it for a woman of her age to be treated for cancer like well, this? Well, uh, cancer touches the lives of every family. One in two of us will get cancer. Now, it is more common the older we get, but thousands of people every year are diagnosed at a younger age. A thousand people a day in the UK are given a Not gonna lie, that's spooky. cancer diagnosis. Now, it is obviously a huge shock, a cancer diagnosis for, for any family, but three million people in the UK are living with cancer. And it, I think the message at the end when Catherine urged others affected by cancer not to lose faith or hope. I think that is a key message this evening. Absolutely. Fergus Walsh, our medical editor, thank you. Well, let's talk to Helena Wilkinson, our correspondent, who is in Windsor, where the family live and the... I mean, there's not really much to talk about. Like, 
the news really be stretching stuff. The holiday is approaching, and the Princess of Wales making it very clear that the focus very much now for her is on her family. She better say something different. At home. Yes, that's absolutely right, Sophie. Um, the news here in Windsor, a number of tourists outside the castle uh, just starting to hear about the news of the Princess of Wales's uh, cancer diagnosis. All right. She's not saying anything different than we already heard. So, like I said, prayers up, man. Tell her, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, man. I'm gone.